Hey guys, it's Brandy. This is Brandy's This and That, and I am here again with a new video. Today I am planning on making soap and taking you along with me as I do. I thought I have to make it anyways, I might as well make it a video, but when I got started, when I started thinking about what I was going to do, I thought, man, I have other stuff I need to get done first, which brought me to my list. I am a list maker. And I have tons of lists and Big Daddy makes fun of me because <laughs> it is kind of funny, the things that I have on the list. But it helps me stay focused and kind of helps me get my head around what I need to get done and what's more important, what's not. And But the funny thing is when I was making my list, I thought, you know, I'm going to share this list with everyone because it's pretty funny and I don't think everyone's list probably says these things. But anyway, so the first three things on my list are always the same. Wake, just in case I would forget to wake up, I need to wake. And then coffee. And then Jesus. Those are all the first things. Wake, coffee, Jesus, which it means my Jesus time. Then dress, in case I'd forget. Well, you know, sometimes I want to stay in my pajamas all day. So I need to have on here, get dressed and makeup. And sometimes I just get dressed and that like yesterday, I didn't have time to do the makeup part by the time I had to do my to-dos. <laughs> so I was like, well, makeup's not happening today. And then kitchen, which is just unloading the dishwasher, getting that straightened up, which I should do the night before. But you know, I, pu I put it on my list, <laughs> but I don't do it. And so it's on the list for the next day. Anyways, um food prep because I have some food prep to do for tonight for dinner and also for um, dinner tomorrow. I need to like marinate the meat. Marinate, marinate, marinate. Anyways, um, and make English muffins because I'm out. So I'm going to make my sourdough English muffins today, which takes forever. But the good thing is it gives me time to get my other to-do list done while they're cooking and stuff but it's totally worth it. But it does take a while, it's time consuming. Um, anyways, and then I have a to-do side. So I have like my schedule side and to-do side. And I used to put times on everything, but I don't do that anymore because it would just frustrate me looking at the times and I would never be on time. <laughs> it was just wishful thinking. So now I just make the list. Sometimes I'll just put what time I'm gonna wake up <laughs> and then it'll just go all the way down. But anyway, so for my to-dos, I have the English muffins twice because I guess I want to mark them off twice because I do love marking off my list. And then clear bench, clear living room piles, <laughs> clear dining room, clean master bath, shampoo carpets. Yeah, right. I don't think I'll be getting to the shampoo and carpets, but it's on there. And so it'll go on tomorrow's to-do list and then the next day and the next day till it gets done. But... The clear bench, clear living room piles, and clear dining room. You guys, what my, do you think my house looks like with this list? But in all fairness, I did recently, we gave Colton an extra room, our guest room that we were using as a guest room. And you know, Darren and I have talked about the guest room. We're like, uh, you know, in the past, what's the point? <laughs> How many times do we have guests? And we have this whole room dedicated to guests. And we could be using it for other things. And I mean, it, we have a four bedroom house. So, well, it's like three bedrooms with an optional fourth, which just means it doesn't have a closet, which is what I'm in right now, which is what I use for my office slash gym slash uh, music room, which behind you is my keyboard. I mean, and then we have now a bed <laughs> so I needed the bed because you know we do have guests every once in a while but I use the bed too sometimes because I think I'm going through the change maybe I mean I am 50 and I and I'm up and down all night I can't sleep I'm up and then I and when it I feel like I'm just annoying Darren or waking him up because he's got to work the next day then I just come in here and crash so that's pretty important. I need this bed in here too. So anyways, all that to say, everything from what used to be the guest room and in the closet, I had to empty. I didn't have to, I wanted to empty so that Colton could move into it. So now he has like a game room slash living room, living space. I don't know. And then his bedroom where he sleeps and then um, the bathroom. But I mean, 
we all use the bathroom, but it's his bathroom where he showers and whatever. So, which is awesome and I'm super excited and we're getting it fixed up, but for him, but now I have all these piles everywhere. Remember them show little fires everywhere, which was really good. It was a book series first, but anyway, well, I'm little piles everywhere and it's bad right now, <laughs> right now. So I'm need to find a, a place for everything. And so that's my goal. That's why I say clear the bench because I'm benching the entryway that is totally packed. I did start clearing it out yesterday. I feel a little bit about it, better about it, but it's not done. All behind the couch are little piles. And then in the dining room, oh no, it's just a mess. It's got stuff all over the table, stuff on the floors, big bins that I need to take out to the garage, but I'm still putting stuff in there. <sighs> it's a lot, but every day I just feel guilty doing anything else because these the stuff I need to get done. And does it stop me? No. <laughs> I still do the other things, but I always never have like a clear conscience about it. So I need to get this stuff done. So I'm gonna get it done. And my goal is to get it done by the end of the day tomorrow. So work today, I'm not doing anything. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going out. I'm staying in the house. I'm gonna follow my handy list. I'm gonna cross things off, except for probably the shampoo carpets. And uh, I'm gonna get her done. So, all that to say, I feel a little guilty about making a video about making soap, but <laughs> not guilty enough not to do it. Plus, I need it because I've got I make all my own body products now because my skin is just so sensitive. My face is always just feels angry and my hands I've talked about my psoriasis, but they I mean things have improved so much since I started making my own raw organic handmade products. Um, and it is time consuming, but it's totally worth it in more ways than one. So all that to say, I am gonna make a soap video and you're gonna see it right now. I can't forget the day we met Your eyes so blue, me pressing through I can't forget the day we met Your smile so bright, it made me swoon I love is like a summer's day, hot sun and less in a magic way. Whenever I see you, all I can think is my summer love. Been waiting for you, my love. My summer love. Been waiting for you, my love. I can't forget the day we met. You look so fly in your red corvette. Your hair, your look, your everything. When I see it all, I knew that you were mine. I'm in love with your hair, your lips Your silhouette in the moonlight shine With my love you won't ever be alone My summer love, been waiting for you my love Completely a fool, been waiting for you my love Head over heels, I'm blinding by one Alright, so today I am making a very simple soap bar for myself um, with all natural products and raw products. Um, it's really been helping just soothe my skin and all of that good stuff. So um, it's a really simple melt and pour. And what I use is, um, this is a shea butter melt and pour. It comes in a set like this and it's one pound each. I'm gonna use just one pound. So I have two pounds, but I'm gonna use one pound today. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is, I wonder if I should turn the light on. Let me see. I don't know if that's better or not, but can't hurt. <laughs> anyway, this is what it looks like. And basically it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a melt and pour. I'm gonna get my handy little cutting mat from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> um, I am going to cut it up, cut it a bit, just so that it melts a little faster. And I'm using a double boiler, which is just a pot of boiling water with a bowl on top. So you can melt this good stuff. 
in this milk and pour, um, I am going to add raw cocoa butter, super healing and good for your, your skin and calming. I'm gonna add um, oatmeal and a little bit of, probably a little bit of honey. Let's see how much honey I have. Um, some raw honey. to make a really nice soothing couple of bars. Um, this is a mold I just got off of Amazon. They're not too big of bars, which I like because, I don't know, my hands are small. It just makes it easier to use in the shower. All right, so I am going to take this over to the double boiler, put it in, it's already going. Start melting right away, and I'm gonna grab a couple pieces of thin raw cocoa butter. The soap melt is shea butter. I really like these two things together. I'm just gonna grab a pieces. I don't know if you can see it. All comes in pieces like this. It smells delicious. I am gonna throw, I'm just gonna throw like a chunk like this, and maybe this one. I'm gonna throw it in here with me. Double boiler. And that's it for now. We're going to wait for that to um, melt and then I will show you the next steps, which this is so easy. Anybody can do it um, and it's really worth it. It's so good for your skin and helpful if you do have sensitive skin and skin issues, but you can add, I might have should say, you can add, um, like when I add the oatmeal and honey, actually I'm gonna add honey now while I'm thinking about it. I'm just gonna use the rest of this. I'm gonna put it under hot water so it pours out easier. So I need to put honey on my lips because I'm sweating it very low. On my handy dandy list, yes, on that list also, I put my groceries, I put a grocery section and shopping section, which is kind of weird, but you know, some things aren't groceries, they are not shopping. Anyways, I'm just heating this up because it makes it easier to pour out. So I'm gonna pour this in here too. I'm gonna, I should have heated the lid. So, uh, yep, that's good. I would say that's probably about maybe two tablespoons at the most. So. This here, I'll just put it here. Anyway, I'm gonna add honey to my list. And of course it's raw organic honey, okay? All right, I'm gonna let this melt up. It's feeling good. I guess I should show you what it looks like. Hold on, let me get you. Let me bring it over here for a minute. There you go, can you see that? It's all melting together. I'm sure I'm doing this the hard way as far as showing you how it's going, but you can see the honey, you can see the shea butter, you can see the cocoa. The thing is, you can add anything. You could add rose petals, which I always think would sound so nice, or lavender. You can add essential oils, any chamomile flowers, chamomile, essential oil, uh, vanilla would be great. But I just do all natural because, because I have sensitive skin, but those are options that you could um, to do this, I made a lot of all of my natural body stuff that I use for, as gifts for my family, um, like my sisters and, their, and my nieces and nephews and, and my kids. Um, but anyways, and it was a lot of fun. I made a coffee. Um, so actually, I still have some. I'll show you. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I have extras. I just made them little, like half bars, because, yeah, so I was making a lot, and I wasn't sure if people were even going to like them, but who doesn't like getting something handmade? Anyway, so this is the, this is that, and I put on here organic, raw, natural coffee soap, handmade with love, and then it looks like this. 
you know, the coffee turned to brown, which was super cute, and it smells like coffee. So there they are. I don't know. Maybe I'll give them as gifts again at some point. But I've got a few, quite a few left over. And I haven't used it myself because I keep thinking I'm going to use it as a gift. I mean, maybe when we have guests again, I'll use it as hand soap, you know, in the bathroom or something. But this is getting good and melty and it looks amazing. I love the color. It's so, like, it's just creamy. You want to, you know, speed up the process, you could cut the soap melt even smaller and then, uh, you know, when you stir it, it, it speeds it up a little bit too. So, here, I don't need this anymore. When you're adding um, things like the oatmeal that I'm going to add, um, you want to wait until it cools just a little bit. And I'm still on the fence of whether adding it, it's better to add in here or in the, in there, in when you're melting it, like the melted stuff. I don't know. Maybe I'll try both. I'll try pre adding it to the bar and I'll do three adding it, or however many I have, I'll split it in half and do it both ways and see. But you do want to let it cool off a little bit or else all of the, um, like the oats will go all to the top. They'll just float to the top and then it'll only be to the top and it won't be like all throughout the soap as you use it. So that's why you wait for it to cool off a little bit. Um, but like you saw my coffee ones, I didn't do that. Cause I think I thought it looked cute with like, I like the way it looked with all the browns on top. So I did it that way. I guess it's just personal preference, whatever you like. There's my doorbell. I'm thinking I have a package because nobody's coming over here visiting. All right, it's getting there. It's pretty close. After I get it all melted, I'll put it in a, like I have a really old, yucky looking, but I still use them all the time, pan for chef, the little glass that you pour, actually I'll get it out now. So I'll, um, I will end up putting it inside this. Okay, now we're gonna let it dry. 
or sit overnight and harden, I should say, and then I'll pop them out and show you what we got. All right, so I think I can go ahead and pop these out now. Um, a little sooner than I thought, but see, they pull away really easy. And you just pop it right out. And here it is. I'm gonna be set with soap for a while. I'll probably give one to Brittany. Sometimes I'll, you know, when I make stuff, I'll give them to Brittany and my mom too. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it inspires you to make some soap of your very own. The best compliment you could give me is hit that subscribe button. That would be awesome. I'll see you in the next video.